What's up, everyone? Happy New Year. This is the first ride of the new year, and we are riding at dusk. So we ride at dawn usually, but uh, I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. Slept in a little bit, and when I got up, it was Peppa Pig time, and it's really hard to say no to Peppa Pig. So uh, played with the baby today. Kids snuggled on the couch a little bit, took it easy, and uh, we're riding at dusk. I kind of like the dusk ride, actually. And we get to see some of what's left of the Christmas lights. Uh, this is over here, Hendrickson Park, Valley Stream. Yes, we're wearing a helmet today. The lake is over here, Christmas Tree Island over there. I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, it's pretty down here. So I think park closes at dusk, so I'm probably going to yell that to get out of here. But whatever. Got to break the rules sometimes. So New Year's Day edition. First day of 2022, first message of the year. And uh, today's message is going to be about the glass is half full versus the glass is half empty. So a uh, buddy of mine, Carmen, sends me a Bible God message every morning. And his message this morning was not that this new year is going to be a new beginning, that it will be a continuation of all the good stuff in uh, our lives and in my life. Um the kin, kin, continuation of building um, business, continuation of building friendships, continuation of surrounding myself with awesome people, continuation of my ride at dawn or dusk or whatever it is. As long as I'm riding, I'm happy. 10 miles a day, 215 days in a row today, uh, at least. And um, that brings you to the glass is half full, the glass is half empty. Um, an exercise that goes on uh, that everyone should do uh, at this time of year is take a piece of paper and write down on one side all the th bad things from last year and the on the other side write down all the good things from uh, this year. And you're probably going to realize that if you really, really dig down, the good side is going to outweigh the bad side. Um, the bad things kind of tend to take uh, the spotlight, but when you really think about how much things you're blessed with. It really outweighs the bad. Um, so if you want to do an evaluation of last year, take a pen and paper, sit down and just brain dump on that piece of paper everything that went well in your life last year versus everything that went bad. And yeah, there's a couple of bad things that go on. But overall, we're alive, we're healthy. Um, most of us, you know, have roofs over our heads, have cars to drive, have jobs, um, have family, have friends. Um, there's a lot of good stuff in our lives versus the one bad thing, a relationship that may have went bad, or a business deal that went bad, or whatever, it's the numbers are going to be way smaller than the good things in your life. So we need to look at the glasses half full constantly. So going into this new year, uh, look at everything in your life from the glasses half full side. And uh, what, you what you focus on, you will find. So if you keep focusing on the good stuff, you keep focusing on the glass being half full, you'll keep finding more half full glasses. And you'll keep appreciating the wins in your life and you'll have gratitude for all the good stuff that went on in your life. And you'll be able to learn from any of the bad stuff that went on in your life. So there's the message for today. First message of the new year. Learn to look at the glasses half full all of the time. Always look at the half full glass. Always look at the bright side of everything in your life. Uh, the more you are grateful for the good things, the more good things you will find. Uh, the better your life will be. And... Uh, that's it. So New Year's resolutions, uh, everyone makes them, and here we are. We're going to continue this ride. 215 days left, so that means I got 150 days uh, of riding left. Uh, so I got another, what does it make, another 1,500 minimum miles I got to put on this bike over here, and we'll get it done. We got some cold months coming up. Um, I still would like to ride with you guys. Um, I had a good crew ride in the morning at one point, and everyone kind of bailed on me. Uh, I would like to get that going again. Uh, we will start getting out early again as the daylight breaks. Uh, days are getting longer. That's awesome. Um, so if you want to ride, and I have no problem doing ride at dusk. If we can get a group together, I'll save my ride for dusk, and we'll do a ride at dusk. Um, I like riding with people. It's fun to talk and chat while we ride and inspire each other, push each other. So, all right. So there's your message. Uh, let's jump on prayers. First prayers of the new year. Beautiful Christmas tree right here. Your Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, please help us to have an amazing, amazing new year. Help us to grow this year. Help us to continue to love on each other this year. Help us to inspire each other. Help us to keep making the world a better place. Help us to be grateful for everything uh, in our lives. Help us to look at the world as a glass half full and to not look at the world as a glass half empty. We need to look for the positive in the world. We need to be the force of good and the force of positive in the world. And uh, we got a whole new year ahead of us to do big things. So let's do big things together. Let's lean on each other. Uh, amen. So, all right, everyone. Glass is half full this year. You got to be grateful. Um, don't harp on the bad things. Uh, if you're posting stuff on Facebook, I see some of my friends out there like to post why me stuff on Facebook. Don't post that garbage. Don't post that garbage. Only post wins out there. If you're going to post something on Facebook, make sure it's a win. Let's fill Facebook and Instagram and all the other social medias. Let's fill it with wins. Wins only this year. We're only winning in 2022. Glass is half full. If that glass is half empty, throw it out. Get a new glass. We only need glasses half full here. So just do me a favor. Let's make a pledge to each other. Only positivity on Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Only good thoughts. Only good memes. Only good stuff. Only the good stuff. Let's concentrate on only the good stuff. As my buddy Joe Sonona says, only learn the good habits. Only the good habits. Don't learn the bad habits. So 2022, the year of positivity and goodness in the world. Starting with us here and here, here, me and you and everyone following here, every person that you inspire to be better, they inspire someone else to be better. Fire starts fire. So let's start inspiring people to be better in this world. Let's make this world a better place. There's a lot of screwed up stuff that goes on and it's up to us to make it better. We, the people, are going to make this world a better place. So love you all. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go. Let's change the world. This year starts with us. Love you all. God bless. Have a great night.